that you can hear the audio. That everything sounds good. And um, I did mute you guys out. So you have the ability to unmute yourself. So if you feel like you want to do that, have at it. Okay, cool. All right, D says everybody's good. Michael says everybody's good. Brian, Gaza, awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks for letting me know. So, uh, yeah, we'll get cracking on this webinar here. So, um, you can see my fancy, my fancy slides that I've got here. Um, and I'll kind of share uh, throughout this presentation. I'll uh, get into my screen, show you guys a few things. But what we're going to talk about, bam, I got I to check my sizing here. Oh, yeah, looking good, right? How to sell more houses on Facebook in the next 60 days, okay? That's what we're going to talk about. And yes, that is the quality of my awesome presentation today because mainly I just want to be here like face-to-face -face with you guys, but still at the same time have um, a few opportunities to go inside of my screen, show you guys some things that we're doing um, just so you can see like that what we're going to talk about actually works today, okay? So first I want to talk about is why you should listen to me, okay? So what I want to do first is I want to get inside of my screen share and I want to show you guys some of the stuff that, that I've got going on at the moment and uh, kind of show you. So this is inside of my live uh, Facebook ads manager. I just wanted you guys to be able to see kind of numbers of things that I'm doing at the moment. Okay. So, you know, we're going to talk about some single property campaigns and some different things that you can do right now to, um, generate yourself some more business. And I just wanted to show you some of the numbers that I'm getting, you know, like this one right here got 30 leads for $1.87 each. This one has 21 for $264. Uh, this one's a little bit more expensive, 13 for $423. I don't know for whatever reason in this particular market cost me a little bit more. Um, and then this one right here, $233 a lead for 18 leads. You know, and then I've got some of my own my own stuff going as well. My uh Santa Claus video and some other stuff here. So you can see just what that stuff's costing me, right? So this is like literally, I'm just in my ads manager right now. And I just wanted to show you guys kind of, you know, some of my numbers. So as we're talking about, you know, what's possible with Facebook ads, you guys have numbers to actually show, you know, to see like that what I'm, I'm talking about is, you know, I, I get a variety of numbers as well, right? Like in terms of the single property campaign, which we'll talk about um, some through this deal. You know, it's ranging me anywhere from 76 cents on the low end to that 423 that I just showed you a minute ago that's down in Texas. And with that one, I don't know for whatever reason, it's just a, it's kind of an expensive campaign. But real quick, I just want to share my 60 second story. Just kind of talk about like who I am, how did we even end up here today? And, uh, and just kind of talk about that. So like, basically I came up um, as a Navy brat. My dad was in the Navy and uh, always was involved with Boy Scouts. Um, I ended up becoming an Eagle Scout, and um, when I got out of high school, I decided to go into the Air Force, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do at the time, so my dad suggested just to go into the military. You know, I think that was what he did, so it just seemed natural to do that as well. Uh, so I served um, a little over six years in the Air Force, and I got out of the Air Force in 2005, and I got my real estate license down in Texas. So... Um, you know, what I did was basically just became a regular realtor uh, when I got out, you know, it was just like maybe some of you on this call are um, just helping buyers and sellers. And at the time, this was like uh, mid 2000s, right? 2005, 2006. Um, we were just testing different things. I mean, at the time, my online marketing strategy was like literally to friend divorced moms on, on MySpace, right? Like Facebook wasn't a thing yet, or it, I think Facebook existed, but it wasn't like really popular yet. So I was still on MySpace and uh, it was just a crazy time, right? It was fun, but I was just trying to learn online marketing and learn different ways to approach people. And so um, really just through that, I ended up getting hired by Keller Williams um, in Texas and I took over their agent, um, like agent onboarding role. So at the time that particular office was the number four office in the country. So it was a great place to be and I uh, got to meet a lot of high producers and I uh, just had an awesome time there. And then in 2011, I got hired by Benchmark Mortgage. So again, they're based out of Dallas, Texas and I took over their corporate marketing team. Um, I decided to leave there in 2014 and I opened Sales Clubhouse, which is our agency. Um, so 
right back then we were doing mostly websites, a little bit of Legion and that kind of thing. Um, and then this year we opened Legion of Loan Officers. So that's my current mastermind for loan officers um, and, you know, smart people that are into marketing. Um, and then as well, my brother Brian, he still runs our day-to-day -day operations within Sales Clubhouse. So that's kind of like who I am, what I do, and uh, how we got here. So basically, if you stick with me for the next 30 minutes, you know, what we're going to talk about is three secrets that people believe or some things that aren't true about how you can be generating leads on Facebook. Okay, so we just want to give you some extra strategies, some new ways that you can do that. So you're going to leave here today with some ideas that you can implement. Okay, it's not just going to be like some fluff things. And then, of course, at the end, if you want some help with this, then I'm gonna offer you some help as well. But there, you're gonna get plenty of information here that you can easily go do this for yourself as well, okay? One second, I just wanna pull up my notes real fast. Make sure that I cover real quick. One second, let's see. All right, cool. So what we wanna get in first is secret number one, which secret number one is that you don't need some big expensive landing page software in order to go out and be able to generate leads on Facebook, okay? Now, of course, I use landing pages as well, right? Like there's a lot of awesome landing page softwares that are out there. You've got uh, Landingi, ClickFunnels, Lead Pages, Lead Pops, right? All these kind of things. I personally um, use two different services right now in terms of landing pages, but again, you don't need a landing page in order to go out and generate leads on Facebook, right? That's just something that these landing page companies, they convince you of. I mean, there are some advantages and some disadvantages to landing pages, but you absolutely do not need one in order to get started, okay? Um, the two services that I currently use right now, uh, one I'm using is Survey Gizmo. Uh, Survey Gizmo, it's like $300 a year, so basically it comes out to 25 bucks a month, but you do have to pay on an annual basis. I'm only using that for a few surveys, um, not a ton and basically it's a long form leads, right? So if you want to get a bunch of information from a lead, like, you know, in this case with our surveys, we're taking them through 10 or 12 pages of information, right? So it's a lot of information that you get to get from those leads as they go through that funnel. But again, it's not something that you need to have, right? You can easily just answer those questions, get all that information when you get the lead on the phone if you're just using a short form or some other type of landing page software. Um, also, the other um, landing page software that I'm using is called Instapage, okay? So Instapage, again, they got different variety of levels, uh, but most clients that, that I have are using this $76, I think is the price nowadays. They, they change it around every once in a while. Um, but last time I checked, it was about 76 bucks a month in order to have that, right? So like we're talking about $100 a month worth of software that in my opinion is basically optional of whether you need to have that software or not have that software, right? So because there's plenty of ways that you can go ahead and get started using Facebook ads without that. So for example, like Facebook, they actually have forms built into Facebook now. So a lot of the, um, what I'm showing you inside of my ads manager, and I can show you right there on the screen what the lead cost is, that's because those particular campaigns are using a Facebook lead form. So when that person is opting into our, you know, uh, into our funnel, if you will, or they're getting more information about a house or a loan program or whatever it is that we're marketing at the time, they don't even have to leave Facebook in order to complete that action, right? So what happens is when the ad shows up on Facebook, and real quick, if you've, give me a yes um, in the chat box real fast if you've ever ran a Facebook ad, okay, or give me a no if you haven't, so I can kind of know, like, how deep to talk about this if you're, you know, how, what your comfort level is. So drop me a no or drop me a yes uh, in the chat box real fast. Okay, cool. So it looks like, no, no, yes, no, no, yes. Okay, so it looks like we have more no's. Yes, yes, single home ad. Okay, cool. So it looks like about a 50-50 mix, right? So it, basically, when you get into the ads manager, and I mean, I guess I can just show you this real fast. Okay, one second. Let me, uh, let me share my screen. Okay, when you come in here to the ads manager and you're going to create an ad, I don't know, let me see if I need to move this thing. I'm not really sure if that's 
showing up for you guys or not. Okay, so there's right here on the top right hand, you click on create ad, okay? And then when you come into this middle section, you can see there's all these different ways to run ads, right? So we could get in here and talk about this all day, but at, at the end, what I want you to do is just know how to take action, okay? Don't worry about like understanding what a store visit is because if you're a loan officer or a realtor, you're never gonna use that, okay? So just don't even bother trying to figure it out. Same thing with catalog sales, you're probably never gonna use that as a loan officer or a realtor, okay? These are more things for like e-commerce, um, brick and mortar type stores, that stuff, okay? So what we're gonna talk about today, this one is a lead generation, right? So when you click on lead generation, what that does is it's gonna actually create a form right inside of Facebook that, um, you know, when they click learn more about on your ad and they want to learn more information, it just pulls up a form right inside of Facebook. Now, the couple of benefits of this is, you know, people, they like having information just come right to them nowadays, right? They don't want to have to go out and get the information, even to the point that sometimes, you know, a click off of Facebook is like more effort than some people want to take right? Because they just want to be able to keep scrolling through Facebook. Even if they're interested in what you're talking about, the easier you can make it, the, the more leads you're going to get, right? So with this Facebook lead form, which again is totally free, it's all built inside of Facebook. You don't have to pay, you know, any lead software or whatever to get started with this. You just come inside of your ads manager right here where I'm at, okay? And you just click on lead generation, Okay, you even look right here, what does it say? Drive more sales leads such as email addresses from people interested in your brand or business. Now for me, you know, um, we actually get their name, email, and phone number. So when you create your form, as you go through here and you build your ad out, you're gonna create your form, and it's gonna automatically start with their name and email because like, everybody wants those two pieces, right? We just add in their phone number. Now. That probably takes away a few of the leads that we could get if we only ask for email, but like we want to call them. We want phone calls, right? I'm not trying to like play the back and forth email game. We want to get their phone number and reach out to them right away. So that's how we ask for their email address. Overall, with this particular kind of um, lead generation piece right here, we're averaging well above 10% click-through rate and then about 2.5% uh, overall conversions from Facebook. So, um, you know, obviously every campaign is a little bit different, but if you care about those kind of numbers, that's about what we're averaging, okay? So when you go to start, you know, um, creating your first, your first ads, and if, you know, even if you decide to do this today, right, you don't, you don't have to go and get a software program first. Just come inside of Facebook Ads Manager, use the lead generation piece, and start your first campaigns that way, um, so you can just get started, right? You don't need some outside, uh, some outside extra bonus thing, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, just drop a note in the chat box about secret number one, okay? The Facebook lead forms, a lot of people don't even know that that exists yet, and you just wanna start using that. It's really simple, it's just really easy to get that built out, okay? And start being able to generate leads that way. Okay, secret number two, videos make the best audiences, okay? So what do I mean by uh, videos make the best audiences. Well, and I'll show you an example. Let me, uh, I just wanna pull up my notes here. Um, and I'm gonna show you an example with my Santa Claus video. Okay, let me, uh, let me find that one real fast. Let me do a screen share. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this up. Drop me a note in the in the chat box if you've happened to have seen uh, seen this post. I mean, probably only if your loan officers on here will be the only people that would have had the chance to see it, right? But okay, this is my this is my old Saint Nick uh, ad that I'm running right now. And I don't know why Facebook keeps trying to pop it up in every kind of way, but okay. So this thing is totally ridiculous. All right, and what I did was I went to Party City. Bought me a Santa Claus suit, okay? I also bought me this fancy ho 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 chain. Let me see if I can just make this bigger so you can see it, but not actually play the, the video. Okay, so you can see like, I look totally ridiculous, okay? But you know what? This video has gotten me a ton of business and leads and you know, just people seeing me out in the marketplace. 
I mean, already I've had 4,000 people watch this video. I also have it on my personal profile and like a thousand people have watched it there. So, you know, yeah, I spent like 50 bucks to go and buy this little outfit or whatever, you know? And then I just went out into my neighborhood because I happen to live like in the Rocky Mountains. And so our neighborhood is filled with pine trees like this, these little pinion pines and stuff. So I just went here. I mean, like people, some people thought this was a green screen, but I'm actually outside just in my front yard, basically. Um, so, you know, I kind of like dance in the front of the video just to be like, get their attention when it comes to the feed. Obviously, I'm like, give the white man shuffle that I, right there, you know, shout out. Okay. But uh, this video is working. Okay. So sometimes you got to do like silly things like this. Okay. But video has this cool ability because what you can do is in the background of, um, of Facebook ads, if after you run a video campaign like this, you can then create an audience of all the people that watch the video and you can run them some other ads, okay? So for example, you can run this video, right? And like, look, at the end of the day, everybody's watching videos, right? Like literally every single person has watched. Leave me a comment, leave a comment right now and tell me if you already watched a video today, okay? Leave me a yes or no if, you have, uh, if you've already watched a video today or not. Yeah, I'd like to know that. Um, so, I'm trying to, I don't know why this chat box will not pop up. So weird. It's like I just saw there was this chats coming on. Okay, chat, hello. I don't know, maybe I gotta stop sharing my screen to do this, but okay. So look, my point here of video is, like I don't know if you're making video or not, but if you're not making videos, you gotta just like bite the bullet and start making some videos, okay? Here's the thing about it. Everybody's watching videos like literally everybody loves watching videos. Okay. I've probably already watched What time is it 1030? I've probably already watched I don't know at least 10 videos, right? Maybe not 10 whole entire videos But like I've already watched pieces of 10 videos either here on Facebook or I also look to see about you know the people that I'm subscribed on YouTube I looked at that this morning as well. Okay, and people just love watching videos but the average person out here which is probably like most of you on this call right now aren't making videos because people are scared to death of getting on camera, right? They're scared to like, however they look, people are going to judge them. Their clothes aren't going to be good enough. They're too ugly. They're too fat. Their, their hair is not good enough. Like whatever the thing is, right? But look, I got all those same problems and I'm right here looking at you on this camera, you know, and you can do the same thing, right? I can sit here and say, man, I should have cut my hair first or I should have put on like something fancier than this blue t-shirt. But you know what? At the end of the day, I'm not doing that, right? This is, this is who I am, and I just want to get on here and provide you value. And you should have that same feeling, right? If you're not wearing a suit every day at the office, then don't put a suit on when you get on video, okay? If you're dressing like however you look at the office, however you look when somebody's going to come and meet you face-to-face, -face, like just look that way, you know, on camera. Just look that way on Facebook. Don't fake the funk and try to be fancy and go and put on a tie and a suit when like the person is going to come and meet you and you're going to be wearing your Tommy Bahama shirt or whatever, right? Or if you're going to go out showing houses and you know, same thing, right? Like don't, you don't have to dress to impress on the video. Just, I mean, obviously you want to look nice, you know, you don't want to look like a bum, but you don't have to be like, try to look perfect. Don't try to pretend and be something that you're not. Just pull your phone out, get on camera and just make the videos. Okay. One of the great things, like I mentioned, is when you make videos and then you run that video as an ad on Facebook, you can actually create an audience from people that watch that video, okay? So let me kind of show you, um, let me kind of show you how that works uh, real fast. So if you're coming here, if you're inside of your ads manager and you come over here into audiences, I am recording this, by the way. I just don't want to tell people that ahead of time. So you're on this call. You're going to get the recording. So if you want to see how to do this piece, you'll have the recording, okay? So what you can do is you come right here and you click on custom audience. And assuming this is working. Okay, so right here you see all these different options, right, of how you can create a custom audience inside of Facebook. So there's a bunch of different ways, right, from a customer file this is how you would do it if you're going to upload your database, right? Website traffic, obviously that's pretty self-explanatory. App activity probably isn't going to apply to you. Offline activity won't apply too often. Engagement is what I'm currently going to use, okay? So if you're running a video ad, this is what you're going to do the same thing. 
So you come over here and you say, okay, what do you want to use to create this audience? Okay, well, I want to use a video. All right, so what I'm going to do right here, it says choose content type. So you hit browse and you tell it like, how long do you want to have watched them? You know, how long should they have watched your video for? Okay, I usually go for 10 seconds because I feel like three seconds, that could just be like an autoplay in their newsfeed, not somebody that necessarily was actually interested in watching the video. So I typically go for 10 seconds, okay? You know what, you should test other things and see. Maybe one of these other options would be better for you. And you can create this audience for all these options and have them all sitting right here inside of your ad, you know, your, your audience um, account, basically. So anyways, I'll pick 10 seconds right here, okay? Now it's gonna say, okay, people who viewed at least 10 seconds of your video, so which video, okay? So if I come over here and I go find my Nick Carpenter page, right? Uh, let's see, is that one? Then I can choose which video, okay? So here's like my old St. Nick video, 3,900 views, and just hit confirm. And right here it says, okay, for the past 365 days, so I'll leave that. That's the longest you can go, by the way, 365 days. So if you're doing this, you're creating an audience, just know that that's the longest you can go. You can go shorter, all right? So if you wanna go six months or something like that, you can do that as well. So then you're gonna just create a name for this. I could just call like Old St. Nick Video Views, right? And then if I hit create this audience, it's gonna take it a little bit. It says right here, it'll take up to 30 minutes and you'll get, you'll get a notification on Facebook that says, uh, that basically says like, okay, your audience is done, right? So let me, uh, I wanna, just pull up my notes. So yeah, this is my Santa video. I'm telling you, people love that Santa video. I'm not saying that you need to go out and do a Santa Claus video because like Christmas is in whatever days now, five days or something, right? So you probably don't need to, uh, I would rather, oh, Victoria said she'd rather watch videos. Well, yeah, every, everybody wants to just watch videos. That's why you gotta just take advantage and actually get on camera because people wanna watch your videos as well, right? So think about that, like you wanna watch videos, they wanna watch videos, and sometimes they wanna watch videos of you, right? And that brings me to a point like that there's this kind of voyeuristic mentality amongst the general population in America nowadays, right? Not saying it, in, it's not like necessary in like some sexual way, but just that people like having an inside glimpse in other people's lives, okay? If you need some proof of that, you can look at all of the, you know, uh, what do you call it? Like reality TV that's on nowadays, like Survivor. Look at Big Brother, right? It's literally just cameras in a house watching people live, you know? Um, so people enjoy that, right? It's the same reason that people tune in to talk radio. It's the same people that re people tune in to, you know, um, soap operas or talk shows on TV or any of these kind of things. People like an inside view into what people think about stuff. Okay, it's the reason that talk shows became so popular in the morning. You have all the morning shows on the radio where you have the DJs playing music, but then they're also, you know, giving their opinions on stuff, um, current events, right? All that kind of thing. And it's because people enjoy that. So you can use that same voyeuristic mentality that exists today um, in your business by just being willing to put yourself out there on camera a little bit. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, and we talked about retargeting the audience, right? So basically, anybody that watches your videos online. So if you're a realtor, here's how this applies to you, okay? Let's say that you make a video, uh, you know, a little home tour video. It's like a 60-second home tour video, and you put that on Facebook, and you run that as an ad, okay? Anybody that watches that video, now you can create an audience of all the people that watch that video the same way that I just showed you a minute ago, and you can run an ad only to that specific audience, okay? And when you do that, now you can run them something that's a direct response or some kind of giveaway, all right? So if you know that you're running a house that's for sale, then maybe behind that video, you're running um, a list of properties or you're running a home buyer guide or something like that, right? Like, you know, click here to get a list of secret properties not currently available in the MLS or on realtor.com, right? Or click here to get a list of properties between this, these price ranges or anything like that, or a list of the best deals, right? Like all this kind of list ads are gonna work really well for you to build a database. Um, or you could also just do a home buyer's guide or you know, click here for a free home consultation, 
right? So any of those kind of things you should try, you know, some direct response behind people that watch the video. And that's why I only use at least 10 seconds of view time typically, or one of those other higher percentages, because I want to get people that are actually interested in, you know, probably buying a house, right? Like if they, if they're already in a home buying audience or they're in this zip code that I'm targeting and they watch that video, those are the most likely people probably to be interested in buying a house. So now I want to run something that I can actually get them in my database, right? So I, I can run one of those lead ads that we just finished talking about and I can get that person inside of my database, get their phone number, have an opportunity to earn their business and just uh, build a relationship with them long term if they're not ready to do something right now. So let me know if you have any questions about, you know, how we're using videos in terms of Facebook to grow a custom audience and then, and then running normal ads to the, oops, sorry, running normal ads to the people that watch those videos. Does that make sense? Okay. So another thing that you can do is uh, secret number three, bam. All right. It's that you can siphon leads from realtor.com and zillow.com, right? Screw those people. That's just my personal opinion of Nick Carpenter, maybe not of like the general public. But I don't want you to pay realtor.com and zillow.com for leads. I want you to be able to get your own leads and get them cheaper than they're getting and get at least the same quality or better quality and get exclusive leads, not have to worry about competing with people, right? There's so many reasons to keep your money and run Facebook ads and do your own marketing and not actually support those business models, okay? So what you can do is um, basically like what we call the single property site bumper, okay? So essentially what we're doing is we're taking any listing from realtor.com or any listing from zillow.com or from any agent's website, right? Like ideally if you're an agent, on this call right now, and you're gonna run this campaign, then you want us to use the link for your own personal website, right? That would only make sense, like instead of driving the traffic, I mean, we're gonna get the lead first, but you don't even wanna send the traffic to realtor.com or Zillow if you can help it. We just use that a lot of times for our loan officer clients when they're partnering with a realtor, if we're gonna go use you know, any listing in a market, then we're typically using one of those kind of links. but if you're a realtor and you have a listing or you're going to use a listing in your market, then obviously you would want to get a link on your own, you know, on your own personal website. So that ideally if you have some lead capture pieces there or you have the Facebook pixel built into your own website, you can be able to, you know, be building those audiences and those databases and stuff for yourself. And again, not sending that traffic to realtor.com or Zillow and supporting that, that business model. So uh, basically the way that you do this, okay, and I kind of showed you a second ago. Let me do a screen share again real fast. But basically you're going to go into your ads manager, okay, and you're going to cl click on this green button whenever it pops up up here that says create a new ad. All right. And then from here, you're going to create a lead generation ad, okay. So this is the one that like we talked about very first, you don't have to go have any kind of landing page software or whatever. So uh, let's just do this real fast. Let me, uh, let me go to realtor.com and we'll grab, a, we'll grab a property. Apparently we're gonna get one in Chula Vista, California. All right, so we'll see what's available out here. Now I personally, you can run anything on a Facebook ad, but I really prefer to run single property. Um, like I said, I mean, condos, townhouses, that kind of stuff works. One of the one that was in my ads manager I showed you a second ago, uh, that was a um, that was a townhouse. Okay, so we'll see. Okay, is that actually a house? I don't know. Short sale, uh, condo. Okay, that one looks kind of fancy. Actually, that looks kind of new. Okay, so we'll use this one right here. Okay, so for now, for this campaign, like this little example that we're going to do right now, you can, I'm gonna use this property right here, okay? Now, one thing on the price, I don't know for 589, like if that's good or bad in Chula Vista, California. So uh, I'm just gonna go with this, but you wanna use, ideally, 
I have the best results with houses that are like, uh, you know, high first and first time buyers, low second time buyer, that kind of a property, you know, overall in America, that would be like the 200 to 250 range. Okay. But again, your market might be different. That might be higher, lower. Like, I don't know what market you're in. So, um, but just use that type of house. Okay. So when you come over here to ads manager, all right, you're going to, if you want to create a campaign name, obviously, you know, you could give it some name, same thing here with the ad set. You could give this a name, like just call it the, uh, the property address, for example. Oops. So I could just call it 1012 Camino Prado. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is choose which page you wanna run this from, okay? If you have multiple pages, this can be, this can come from a page that's branded to you, like right here you're seeing like my Nick Carpenter page, or this could come from a page that's not branded to you, like, you know, Arlington, Texas, a Chula Vista real estate deals, right, or something like that. So um, then when you come down in your audience targeting, I'm not gonna get too much into the audience targeting right now, but basically just pick who's your ideal customer for the property that you're marketing, right? So if you're marketing a house that's on the lower end of price range, then, you know, target a lower end age range, right? So maybe you target 25 to 45. If you're, target, if you're um, running a property that's a more expensive property, then target a little higher age range, right? Maybe target 45 to 65 or 35 to 65 or something like that, right? And cut off that 25 to 35 range. So you just have to think like who is your perfect customer and you can come in here and easily target whoever that is, right? You can come in here and select the age range. Again, we talked about like 25 to just say 25 to 55, for example, right? You can come in here and say, um, okay, where do you want them to live? All right. So in this case, we're like Chula Vista, oops, Chula Vista, California. Okay. According to NAR, the average home buyer moves within 12 miles of their last address, okay? Now obviously that's a national statistic. Your area could be completely different. I have a feeling in Chula Vista, California, that you know, they're not moving within 15, you know, 12 miles. They're moving probably within like five miles or something. I mean, because you look here, 10 miles, we're still, uh, we're still going into Mexico, okay? So obviously we're not really trying to do that too much. Okay, so you have a few different ways that you can do this in terms of getting that down. One is you could hit right here on exclude, and I could exclude Mexico. All right, so that'll cut off, you know, some of that stuff. That's funny how it makes it go way, way out like that, okay? I'll show you another way that you can do this as well in case you ever need to have this, you know, option. So right here you can see how it looks now, okay? Mexico is basically cut off. Um, okay, so the other way that you could do this is, okay, we can turn this off. And if you get down closer, so let's say we go all the way down into here, and we actually basically go down ideally to about where the property is at, if you can. So let's just say it's right here. And you click right here on drop a pin. Oh, rats. I have it on exclude, sorry. Uh, so we hit, make sure it's on include. Okay, so one second. Sorry, I gotta do that again. So yeah, just zoom way down, ideally down to all the way where the property is actually at, and you put a pin on the house. Okay, and now what you can do is you can go less than ten miles. So here you see you can go all the way down to one. So in this case, maybe I would try to to five miles, right? Because that's still covering a huge area in this case, and it's getting me right down to the border as well. Okay. The other thing if you wanted to is, you know, let's say for example, you know that your perfect customer is married or engaged or something like that because that's going to give them two incomes. So you can come right here. It's going to give you suggestions, right? So you can click right here on engaged. Okay. Maybe if you want to be like super, uh, uh, what do they call it? Civil union. If you want to make sure to be inclusive of everybody, you can make sure you add that one in the mix as well. Okay. So you can see like there's an option. And then as you're building out these, this perfect targeting of who you want to, you know, who you're going to market to, you can either exclude people or you can continue to narrow your audience, right? So let's say we wanted to target people that are married and people that are parents because we're going to be marketing like a five bedroom house, right? So we're going to assume that somebody, again, I'm not saying that everybody that buys a five bedroom house is a parent, but 
I can assume that the majority probably are, right? Or they're planning to be, uh, or maybe they're currently pregnant or any of those sort of things, right? So right here, you've got basically anybody who's a parent, okay? And um, so now we've got, you know, it's like a little bit smaller of an audience, right? So now we went from 300, if you look over here, all the time this is showing up, right? Oops. So we went from 310,000 down to uh, 49,000 people, right, in this current audience that are between 25 and 55, that are married, engaged, or in a civil union, and that are parents, right? So you can continue to narrow this further. You could also exclude people, okay? So one thing is if you're a realtor or a loan officer, matter of fact, if you can, let me know in the, uh, let me know in the chat box if you're a realtor or a loan officer. Um, but one thing you can do is if you exclude people, right, you can come right here and you can exclude people from seeing this ad. So one idea is you could come here and maybe you type, uh, maybe you type the word realtor, right? And you find this realtor job titles and you exclude realtors from seeing your campaign, right? Kind of fancy, okay? Or maybe you come over here and you do the same thing for mortgage brokers because you don't want them to see your, your campaign either. You know, you don't want your competition to be out there like hijacking your best performing ads, right? So you can block them from seeing it. So that's pretty cool, okay? And then lastly, when you're done creating this audience and you have it exactly how you want it, you can hit save this audience and you can name this like whatever, right? In my case, I'm gonna call it test because I wanna get rid of this later. But you can call it Chula Vista test. Then when you come back, I'm gonna scroll back up here to the top, okay? When you come back in here next time and you go to create an ad, you can just hit this drop down, use a saved audience, and right there is your ad right there, Chula Vista Test, right? Or you can see how I've got all these different, you know, cities of um, home buyer audiences that I've built out personally in different, different areas around the country, okay? All right, then when you come down, basically you wanna, you know, set your budget. Most of my folks are using anywhere from five to $15 um, to order up to 20 bucks a day. So if it's a new listing, I suggest dropping that 20 bucks. You're not gonna spend the full 20, it's gonna probably spend like 17, 18, $19, you know. Facebook rarely ever spends my full exact $20 budget if I bid 20 bucks. Um, but if it's a new listing, you know, run 20 bucks for like the first three days, and then after that you can judge, you know, based on obviously if the house is selling, not selling, uh, how your conversations are going, then at that point you could decide to Reduce your budget, keep it going, keep the budget the same. But usually if it's a brand new listing that you're gonna do this for, 20 bucks a day for the first three days is usually about my standard. All right, so when you hit continue, over here you're gonna see where there's a few different ways that you can uh, do some things, right? So right here where it says format, you have the um, basically how you want the ad to show up, okay? So there's four different options here. The one that we use the most is single image, okay? If you have a home tour video, even if it's just a cell phone video or whatever, and it's not that crazy long, and I mean an actual video, not a, like, not a, a, a slide tour or whatever, right? Um, like a legit actual video, okay? If you have that, then use the video, okay? Because then you can be getting leads from this ad, and then you can also be building up that custom audience that you can run your other stuff to, right? Your list of homes ads or uh, your home buyer guide or any of those sort of things. Um, and then also as you get listings in the future that are in the same price range, you can always be able to come back and uh, market those audiences again, okay? So I just wanted to show you basically these four options that exist here. Single image, single video, slideshow will make basically a, um, you know, a virtual tour. Okay, so the same way that a lot of virtual tours is just a photo slideshow, that's what occurs right here in the slideshow, all right? And then Carousel actually puts all the photos side by side, and, um, and so you can kind of create different call to actions on each individual um, slide, and you can have up to like two, I mean, sorry, like five or six different Carousel pieces. But again, I'm basically using these two in the middle right here, single image or single video, okay? Um, if you're using the image, you just come down here, add whatever the image you're going to do. If you click on video, right, it'll say upload a video, all right, however you're going to do that. And uh, let me just show you for, for fun here. I'll just, oops, click on single image 
and I'll grab one that's in my library. Yeah, I'll just use this picture right here just for whatever. Okay, well, didn't even bring up that one. Oh, wait, there it goes. Now, obviously, you just grab a picture of the house, okay? So you can see this looks totally ridiculous right here. And what you'd want to do is just come over here, grab this, save this image right here, and then just uh, and then just hit add more images, and you'd bring that picture of the house, all right? So then when you're creating your ad, you're going to come in here, and here's where you're going to write some text, right? So text here is going to go above the photo. And then this headline is what's going to go below the photo, right? So in our case, we, we say like, uh, you know, view 49 photos, <clears throat> see inside, and get the price. Oops. See inside. Uh, and get the price. All right. Now here, you, all, you never want to use sign up. People don't like signing up for stuff, okay? They just don't. But they like to learn more, though. So make sure you always switch that from sign up to learn more, okay? Now down here is where you're going to actually create your lead form, okay? So you can see right here where you actually build out your form. All right, so what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'll just show you how to do this real fast. You hit, on, you hit new form, and you just give this form a name, right? Now, I personally turn off the intro, okay? So basically, I'm just hitting this blue button, and I'm turning that gray, okay? Because I don't, I don't use that piece, all right? So if you scroll down, you'll see the you got four sections, basically. Intro, questions, privacy policy, and thank you screen, okay? So you go into questions, and right now, right here, here's your form, okay? And I should have used a house picture because it looks kind of silly with my grill deer picture there. But right here underneath the email, it says show more options. And if you click on that, you can check phone number, and now you can see it added the phone number over here to the form, right? So hopefully that makes sense. And if you have any questions, again, just drop them in the chat, and we'll have a Q&A at the end, so I'll make sure to answer that question, okay? Next, you're going to go to privacy policy. This is required. So I just write the word privacy policy here. And then what you want to do is just go to your, um, you just go to your website, get your privacy policy, and put your link Put your link right here, okay? And then finally, you go to the thank you screen, and you can see here's what the thank you screen looks like up front. All right, now what we do is like in this headline, I change that to we'll contact you soon. I want them to know that we're going to reach out to them, and it's, you know, they're not just like on their own. And then right here, you can, in the website link, you have to put a link here, okay? So in my case, I could either use this, you know, I can either use this realtor.com link, Okay, or um, if you have a website with the property on your website, then obviously you ideally you'd want to use your own website link, like we mentioned before. Okay, and once you're done with this, making this form, like you're literally done making the entire ad. Okay, so you just hit save and finish. Let me see. I probably have to. I probably have to do this privacy policy real fast. One second. I'll just use that one for now. Okay, so if you hit save and finish, you can see there's your form now. And if you just come down, you can hit confirm, and that's gonna finish, that's gonna finish your ad. Okay. Now I'm not gonna hit confirm because I don't want to actually finish it. Okay. But then when you do, you'll come over here to your ads manager and you'll be able to preview your ad. Okay. So again, like I'll show you in this example, right? You'll be able to click into the ad name, click into the ad set. And then there's this white box over here that you can check. And it makes the word preview clickable. And if you click that, it'll open up this preview right here. What I like to do is there's this uh, box with an arrow up here on the top. And I like to hint send notification to Facebook, okay? And what that does is it sends a notification to your Facebook app on your phone. So you can see what the ad looks like on your phone. Because at least at least 95% of your leads that are going to come through, they're going to come through on your phone, okay? So you want to know that, and 
and already be prepared. So you want to look at it on the phone and see what it looks like. Okay. So you can actually get an idea of it. Um, okay. I was just looking through the chat. Okay, cool. Got a lot of realtors on the call. Cool. So does this make sense what we're doing? Like these, the three secrets that we're talking about, the fact that like you don't need some kind of lead form in order to go out and start generating, you know, Facebook leads. You also don't need, uh, or excuse me, like video is an awesome way for you to build up custom audiences, right? You can run properties as videos. You can run little short 60 second um, home buyer tip videos. And anybody that engages with those videos, you want to create that custom audience just like we showed you. And then, um, and then be able to run other stuff to them, right? Like then you can run your direct response ads, what we'll call them, okay? So whether that's a list of properties, schedule a phone call, um, you know, any of those kind of things, right? Get a home buyer guide, anything that's going to get them to give you their name, email, and phone number where you can be able to reach out to them and uh, start building a relationship with that person. And then lastly, the single property campaign right now is by far and away my best performing campaign that we're running on Facebook. Across the board, it's converting between five and 8%. So like typically for every 25 leads that you would generate on a single property campaign, we're converting somewhere between one and three home buyers from every 25 that are coming through. So a uh, pretty awesome deal. So uh, that should give you enough to implement there. But if you want some help, I just wanted to share with you kind of two different ways that we have available right now um, for you to get help if you, if you want that. Um, so the first is we have newlistingleads.com, okay? And with newlistingleads.com, what we're doing is we're actually doing a single property campaign for you, okay? So we're going to run a, an ad, a Facebook ad, in a similar fashion that I just showed you right now to generate real-time exclusive home buyers for you. Um, you're going to get 25 to 30 home buyers. Um, and again, you're going to get those leads in real time. So as that person is submitting the form, you're going to get their, um, an email with that information. And then also, all the leads are going to be within about a 15-mile radius of your house that you give us. So we're not going to go and market to like the whole state or anything like that. They're all going to be super, super local. Okay. Um, we're going to deliver all those within about 15, um, I mean 15 miles and then within seven days. So you can see kind of what that looks like. Okay. You can get that started at newlistingleads.com. So again, that's 25 exclusive leads within 15 miles delivered in seven days for 297 bucks. Okay. So that's one way we've ran that campaign about 70 times now. And I've only had to refund one guy because I didn't deliver his leads. Okay. And he wasn't happy with the way that it worked. So I guarantee you 25 leads. Typically we're delivering 28 to 30. Um, and if you go to newlistingleads.com, you can see what people are saying about this particular campaign. Okay. If you want to save 235 bucks, then you can order the five pack. All right. The five pack is 1250 bucks. And basically, here's how the five pack works, okay? You pay $1,250 today, and you're gonna give us the first two houses that you wanna market. So we're gonna put two listing um, ads up. We're gonna send you 25 to 28 home buyer leads for each one of those properties. And as they finish up, you're gonna get your report at the end that has all your leads from that property, and then you can give us the next one, okay? And we just continue that cycle. So as one finishes, you give us the next one until you have 125 to 140 leads uh, is what most of our folks are getting, right? We guarantee 125 leads on the five pack. So that's 125 leads for 1250. You can get that at newlistingleads.com as well, okay? And finally, the Legion of Loan Officers, if you actually want some like legitimate handholding, you wanna join an awesome group of people that are all learning and doing the same exact stuff that we're talking about right now. Inside the Legion, we're focused on generating your own leads and then also attracting an additional 10 referral partners to be, you know, primarily uh, you're their number one, right? So they're sending the majority of their business over to you and we have a system in place in order to do that, okay? So the first thing that you get is you get access to training, okay? You get access to seven full marketing courses. They're going to teach you whatever you want to learn about marketing right now. Okay, if you want to learn how to do this single property campaign exactly to the T, the way they were doing it, we teach that as one of our seven, you know, inside of our Facebook course, right? Which our Facebook course is one of seven. Okay, so inside of our Facebook ads mastery, you're going to learn seven different campaigns to generate home buyer, home seller leads on Facebook. We also teach our mobile conversion process because leads are cool, but clients are better. And so we want to show you how we're on averaging, we're, on average, we're converting 5% across the board 
uh, with any mortgage or real estate campaigns that we're running on Facebook. So that's 5% conversions upfront business right now, ready, willing, and able home buyers. Um, and then we also convert an additional 5% using our system called email infiltration, where we're marketing your database on a weekly basis. We're going to show you exactly when and how we're sending that email, what it says. And we also provide 15 templates for you to get started uh, with that database marketing. Um, so that's everything in the Facebook course. And then our other big course is called the agent attraction system. And that's our way to attract 10 partners. So we're going to show you this learn, do, teach model where you can learn Facebook ads, implement something that you learn inside of that course and get results, and then take that to your marketplace and host a live event and actually teach realtors exactly how you did it, right? And you don't have to be fearful of that because we'll just show you the simplest way to host a class, the exact template and model to make it successful. And then afterwards, how to follow up with those people and get one-on-one -on -one appointments with the best folks that came to your class so that you can actually form a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, in a deeper relationship with them uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. The other courses that we have, we have a, a YouTube course. We have a course on getting more client reviews, uh, email infiltration, like I mentioned, uh, where you're going to be able to mon uh, market your database and get more referrals, more leads coming out of your database than you're getting right now. Um, we also have 72-hour listing. So if you're a realtor, we're teaching you seven or six different ways to sell any house in the first three days. Or if you're a loan officer, we're showing you that course so that you can use it to get realtors to come back for a site visit. And then you can also use that as a basis for one of your classes, okay? Because we, you know, we want to teach you these things, have you implement them, and then also be able to eventually take it to the marketplace and host a class and just do demonstration of what you've done, right? You can kind of be this wizard of Oz for realtors and really help them master marketing um, through partnering with you, okay? So that's kind of what we're doing inside the training site. The second piece that you get is you get some done for you stuff, okay? So you get a bunch of templates. Uh, we're gonna give you all of our campaign templates, okay? So in terms of running Facebook campaigns, I told you you don't need a landing page software, but we do use one. And uh, all my templates are available. So you don't have to recreate the wheel. You can just come in the group and uh, if you want to launch the first time home buyer campaign or you want to go launch my industry campaign or my employee campaign or any of these others that we have, you can just take my template, change the word state to whatever state you're in or city to that city and uh, just add your information, you know, your contact info at the bottom of the page and you don't have to recreate that wheel. So we're going to save you 10, 20, 30 hours of time um, not having to rebuild all those things. Uh, then we also have uh, some other templates and checklists um, and scripts and different pieces where you can stay focused on things that have an ROI, right? So for most realtors and loan officers, that's like meeting with leads, calling leads, meeting with referral partners or calling referral partners, right? It's basically like those four activities that typically produce income for you. And the, the, the third piece is ongoing support and mentorship, okay? So... Again, we're not, you're not just buying a course. I mean, you're really joining a group of people. Right now, we have 40-something members inside of our group and because um, we want to lock arms and make sure that you're having success with these things, okay? So you're going to be inside of our secret Facebook group. It's a great resource for you to get help or get feedback on anything that you have going on in terms of marketing or your business. If you want to get um, just you know, input from other members about how they've done something or how they would do something, you can do all that inside of the group. We also have weekly Friday calls. So every single Friday, me or my brother Brian, who runs our agency, or both of us are on, this fr on a Friday call where we're screen sharing, just like we're here in Zoom, and you can actually you know, screen share with us, show us your Facebook campaigns, we can help you optimize them, figure out why they're not working, right? Any of that sort of stuff, like every Friday you just know that you have that ability, okay? So not everybody from our group gets on those calls, it's usually people that want help are the ones that are showing up on the Friday calls. And then lastly, we have uh, meetups twice a year. So our last one was in Dallas down in October, um, and our next one is gonna be in March. Uh, I'm not exactly sure the location yet, but we'll have that nailed down here in January. Um, and basically, we just meet for a day and a half. So people fly in Wednesday, fly out Friday, um, and we just meet up as a group and just help solve problems and implement these things that we're doing a, a little bit better, you know? So here's like a quick recap of everything that you're going to get if you decide to join the Legion of Loan Officers, right? You get training, you get done for you stuff, you get support and mentorship, and then you get access to all of these courses, right? Facebook Ads Mastery, you get access to, um, 
page one takeover, 72 hour listening, supercharged social camp, email infiltration, um, get to reviews, right? And the agent attraction system, you get access to all that inside a training site. But the cool thing is it's all a la carte menu, right? I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna force you to go through any specific order. If you decide to join the Legion, you'll do a welcome call with my brother, Brian, and you guys will create a 30-day plan of how to attack the training. But typically, the way people are starting with our training is they're doing the single property campaign, getting some results, you know, getting some business from that campaign, and then using that as the basis of the first class that they host in their market, and then use the agent attraction system method to get 15 realtors in the room, follow up with them, and then get them as referral partners that way, okay? So here's kind of how the normal pricing works on the Legion of Loan Officers, okay? So typically what we do is it's $5,000 once uh, to become like a permanent member, or it's $4.97 per month, okay, if you wanna join um, at a monthly basis, okay? With no like, no on, you know, specific commitment. You can just join at any level, you know, join. You can join, and if you don't like it, you can leave, okay? We only want you inside because because it's awesome and because you're enjoying it and you want to stay with us, okay? So, oh, that's funny. I wrote this, uh, I wrote this URL right here, and then I didn't even write it right. So that's not, that's not good. I got I to gotta fix something real fast. Okay, because I have a little special to offer you guys if you want to decide to join the Legion, okay? Realtors, you can join the Legion. I'm, I've opened 10 spots for realtors, okay? But you do have to be selling at least two houses per month in order to join the Legion if you're a realtor. You have to be doing business, you have to love marketing, and you have to be okay, like, full transparency with loan officers, okay? So because most of you guys got here today through Jason Urban, that's my man inside, he's our credit repair expert, okay? If you go to salesclubhouse.com slash Jason Special, you can join for $397 per month, or you can join for $3,500 one time, okay? So you're gonna save 100 bucks if you join the monthly, you're gonna save 100 bucks. If you join as a permanent member, you're gonna save $1,500, and I'm gonna send you 100 free homebuyer leads within 20 miles of your office, okay? So I'm not, I don't have those like in my stockpile somewhere or whatever. If you decide to join the Legion, you pay $3,500 once as a permanent member, then me and my brother, we're gonna launch some campaigns with you, um, and we'll go out and generate you 100 leads for free, okay? So that you can use that as realtor bait, start the whole process, get everything going, uh, and you'll get all those within the first 30 days, okay? So again, that's my Jason Urban special. That's at salesclubhouse.com slash Jason special if you can't read my totally shitty handwriting, okay? And again, here's the deal. You can join for 397 per month, save 100 bucks per month, okay? You join my stay in my program for 10 months, you just save the grand right there, bam. Or if you're even smarter and you go for the long-term permanent membership, $3,500 one time, I'm gonna send you a free 100 home buyer leads in your local market, okay? All right, so that's, that's my special, that's my, that's my best offer that I have for you today. And now I just wanna open up for a Q&A, all right? So I don't have any prepared questions. So if anybody has any questions, any, anything that they want to ask about, now's the time that we're going to open up for, for Q&A. All right, so like how does this work? Any other questions about uh, either the um, newlistingleads.com package or the Legion of Loan Officers, okay? So you've got, you've got both, of those, both of those options. So yeah, just uh, again, if you want the new listing leads, I saw uh, one person asked about that. Let me see. That's at newlistingleads.com, newlistingleads.com. It's $297 for a guaranteed 25 home buyer leads within 15 miles of the house you give us to market. And all those leads will be delivered within seven days. Or you can save $235. You can buy the five pack. We can go ahead and launch a couple now. Launch the rest after Christmas. Um, and again, that's for, you know, you'll get a minimum of 125 leads, but typically you're getting somewhere more like 140-ish leads on the five pack, all right? And then if you want the Jason Urban special and you want to join the Legion of Loan Officers today, that's at salesclubhouse.com slash Jason special. That's $3,500 
one time and you're going to get a free 100 local home buyer leads in the next 30 days. All right, that's going to get your 2018 popping. Or you can join on a month to month basis, get some results, see that we're doing, you know, awesome stuff. And then just stick or stick with us long term, 397 bucks a month. So make it super affordable if you want to go that way, right? Awesome. Hopefully you guys have appreciated the high tech presentation that I presented today, both, you know, kind of high tech in the Facebook ads manager, extremely low tech with the Sharpie, Sharpie computer paper slides. But hey, I thought this was the best way to do it. Kind of fun, whatever. All right. All right. Well, I'm out of piece up out of here. So again, if you want the Jason Urban Legion of Loan Officer special, that's at salesclubhouse.com slash Jason special. 3,500 bucks one time, and that's going to get you a free 100 leads, plus you have your permanent member of the Legion, all right? So we'll see each other in March. I'll see you inside of the group in the next couple of hours, or you can join on a month-to-month -month basis. You still get access to everything. Nothing is different in terms of the content. 397 bucks a month, okay? So make it really easy. All right, that's the Jason Urban special, salesclubhouse.com slash Jason special, all right? All right, guys. Hey, thanks for so much for uh, hopping on here. And um, we will get the recording out um, at some point. Actually, probably if you want the recording, because I didn't make you guys register. So if you want the recording, probably need to friend me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Noah Nick, or just look me up, Nick Carpenter. I look just like this. I'm wearing a red plaid shirt. Send me a message on Facebook. Send Jason a message on Facebook either one of us, and we'll get the recording out to you because otherwise I didn't make you register because I didn't want to go through all that. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have a way to actually send you the recording, so my bad. So if you want it, shoot us a message, facebook.com slash Nil and Nick, or look me up, Nick Carpenter, on Facebook. And uh, all right, I'm out of here. See y'all.